so which is to follow the simple harmonic motion okay so i'll read again a cam with a minimum radius of 25 mm rotating clockwise at a uniform speed is to be designed to give a roller follower at the end of a wall rod motion described below first to raise the wall through 50 mm during 120 degree rotation of the cam second to keep the wall fully raised through next 30 degree third one to lower the wall during next 60 degree and fourth to keep the wall closed during rest of the revolution that is 150 degree full point the diameter of the roller is the diameter of the roller is 20 mm and and the diameter of the camshaft is 25 mm draw the profile of the cam when the line of stroke of the wall rod passes through the axis of the camshaft and the line of the stroke is offset to 15 mm from the axis of the camshaft full point <clears throat> the displacement of the wall while being raised and lowered is to take place with simple harmonic motion full point determine the maximum acceleration of the wall rod when the camshaft rotates at 100 rpm draw the displacement the velocity and the acceleration diagrams for one complete revolution of the cam okay. so you note down measure of data so the major data so cam minimum radius is given minimum radius is given it is a uh, 25 mm okay and uh, it has to rise 50 mm okay so stroke is given Fifty mm and angle of uh, outstroke. Now, whether letters are visible or not? Yes, sir. One twenty degree. Else, I will take one more uh, pen. <laughs> So theta naught is 60 degree, sorry, 120 degree. So theta rest at a top position, that is what uh, theta dwell at a top position, it is 30 degree. Okay. And theta return, that is what return stroke, theta r is 60 degree. Now, rest of the degree is uh, again it is a dwell. That means the remaining 150 degree is a dwell. Okay. Now, the diameter of the roller, diameter of roller 
it is 20 mm and the diameter of the camshaft it is 25 mm now you need to draw the profile when axis of the follower passes through the axis of the shaft and one more when it is offset of 15 mm so the displacement of the wall while uh, being raised and lowered is to be is to takes place with the simple harmonic motion that is what uh, shm simple harmonic motion okay. so you need to calculate the acceleration as well as uh, velocity okay. that is what uh, v not vr a not ar you need to calculate And also, you need to draw the diagrams. So, diagrams. Displacement diagram. Velocity diagram. And acceleration diagram. Okay. And acceleration diagram. Okay. So, now first, let us go for drawing the displacement diagram. First, let us go for drawing the displacement diagram. Now, let us take some suitable scale here. Okay, so let us go for suitable scale. Scale, I will take one centimeter equal to okay, so ten degrees. Okay. One centimeter equal to ten degrees, and uh, one centimeter equal to ten mm as it is. Okay, that means ten mm equal to ten mm as a scale. For uh, let us go for one uh, centimeter equal to twenty mm. I think you will get a bigger. Let us take one centimeter equal to ten mm. Okay. So what is the first step? First step, you need to draw the displacement diagram so now it is a 360 degree okay that means you need to draw 36 mm okay so i think it is not possible for me to draw 360 here shall we go for one centimeter equal to 20 degrees let us go for one centimeter equal to 20 degrees i'm just altering here because of uh, space constraint okay so now we need to draw 18 centimeter line. Okay. Now just to draw 18 centimeter line here. Okay. Now what is the rise? A rise is 50 mm. Okay. So we just draw 50 mm of vertical line here. Now I am drawing exactly according to scale. Right. Now divide this uh, horizontal line into angles. That is what uh, 120 degree rotation of the camshaft. Okay. So 120 degree means you need to mark six centimeter here. Okay. So let us draw here. Next, it is a 12. Okay, so it is a 12 for 30 degree. So that means 1.5 centimeter here. So next, it is of uh, 60 degree. That is 30 mm. Thank you. 
right now so whether those lines are visible or not drawn lines these lines are visible or not visible sir visible now let us go to the notations here i'll put here this is what a b c d okay let us take this as a e okay now you need to draw in semi circle otherwise you will divide first this uh, theta not this is what theta not okay this is what theta not okay and this is a uh, theta d theta and this one is a uh, theta r okay. again it is what uh, theta dwell and dash position okay now let us divide this a b into six divisions now it is a six uh, centimeter i'll go for dividing this one into six Now similarly divide the CD portion, okay, into six number of divisions, okay? into six number of divisions. So now it is uh, three centimeter. You need to go for seven point five mm. Okay, sorry. So three divided by six for every five mm right So now let us uh, mark here. I'll go for this line is O, sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is what uh, 0 dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, and 6 dash. Okay. Now, as it is a simple harmonic motion, so you need to draw a semicircle on this row. A Y line here. Okay. On this A Y line. What is the radius? The radius is to be exactly half of the stroke. Now it is a 50 mm stroke is there. As it is a 50 mm stroke, I'll just put a mark midpoint. So now we'll take a radius of 25 mm. Right? So now you need to divide it. You need to divide six number of parts as same that of these are angle divisions that's what a retardation angle division and a rise angle division six number of parts so it is a 180 okay so 180 means for how much angle it will come if it's divided by 66 divisions the 180 divided by 6 
So now we can just uh, name all these curves, these uh, intersection lines with the small letters. We go for this as A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. Now you draw the horizontal lines. You draw the horizontal lines from these points. That is what from point small a, small b, small d, and small e. Okay. So let us draw the horizontal lines. Now you can draw with very thin lines. Otherwise, if you have perfect, you can just go for drawing up to the intersection lines. Okay. Drawing up to the intersection lines. Otherwise, you just draw very thin lines. Class, <laughs> Now, on these intersection points, you can name with any capital letters or any convenient uh, letters. Now, last letter here, it is a E. Now, I'll go for capital F here, capital G, capital H. Okay. Capital I, capital J, and capital K. Capital L, M, N, O is a, let us go for P, Q, R, let us it is a D. Let us it is a D. Now you join these points with a very smooth curve. Join these points with a very smooth curve. So there is one from A to F, F to G. Now I'll just join here. Right? Now K to L, it is almost all a straight line. Okay? Now from L to M, M to N, N to P, Q, R, D. You need to draw with this pencils, not uh, sketch pens and pens. For visibility reason, I'm just drawing with uh, sketch pens and mark, uh, markers here. Okay. Now, this is what your displacement diagram. This is what your displacement diagram. Okay. So you just provide some uh, dimensions here. Well, this is what stroke of 50 mm. Now we can just uh, we just drop the lines here, some uh, projection lines. These lines are helpful to draw a velocity diagram as well as an acceleration diagram, right?
Now raise. Now this is how much? 120 degree. This is 30 degree. This is what? 60 degree. Right? And then remaining is 150 degree. Okay. This is called a wall rise. This is what? A dwell. Wall return. Or wall over. Now this is a dwell. Now displacement diagram is clear. How to draw the displacement diagram for simple harmonic motions? Okay. So next we'll go for. Uh, Next, we'll go for drawing the cam profile. Okay. Drawing the cam profile. No camera is clear. Yes, sir. So now to draw the cam profile, so first you draw one vertical center line and one horizontal center line here. Okay. So now we'll draw one vertical center line and horizontal center line here. So let us mark this as a O. Okay. Let us mark this as a O. Now, as you have in three dimensions here, one is what? So, radius of cam is 25 mm, okay? And uh, radius of, sorry, diameter of roller is 20 mm, and uh, diameter of cam shaft is 25 mm. Okay? And we need to draw all these parameters for basic purpose, for uh, initial, uh, to get uh, the pitch circle as well as a uh, base circle as well as prime circle right as well as prime circle right now first you draw the cam circle okay that is what cam shaft so it is of diameter 25 mm now if we have a flow circle then it is a fine so to draw the circles very quickly okay so now this is what a pro circle here so in this pro circle you are, you are going to get a different uh, Diameter circles already drawn, uh, cut over the uh, instrument here. Okay. Now 25 mm. What I'll do? I will take these uh, instruments and I'll just draw 25 mm. So to draw this one, you need to identify some more. marks are there, plus marks. So with reference to that one, you just uh, draw. Otherwise, you can have the compass. You can just uh, draw it. Okay. Now this is 25 mm diameter. Camshaft is over now. Okay. Camshaft is over. Now cam circle, that is what uh, base circle is to be of radius 25 mm. So now for that one, what I'll do, I'll go for 25 mm uh, radius circle. So you got a two circles here. You got a two circles. So we'll just take them outside for identification purpose. So now this is what camshaft. This is what a camshaft. 
okay this is what base circle this is what base circle so next you need to draw one more circle this is what a prime circle this is what prime circle so now for drawing prime circle so now to draw the prime circle so radius is what so it is what minimum radius of cam of cam plus half diameter of roller half diameter of roller okay so now roller diameter is uh, 20 mm okay so now radius of cam is how much 25 mm so radius of cam is 25 plus diameter of roller is 20 divided by 2 you got a 35 mm as the prime circle so now let, let us take a uh, one more circle of 35 mm radius draw circle here this is what prime circle this is what prime circle right now you've drawn all three circles okay you've drawn roller. all three circles pardon sir one by two of roller diameter of roller radius it is a diameter of roller okay so it is what a diameter of roller okay now this is what one by two pi of roller clear so next thing is you need to draw location of roller first okay L location of roller so now what is the roller diameter roller diameter is how much 20 mm right it is of 20 20 mm okay. now for this uh, initial position okay so I can just make an initial position of uh, follower. This is what A position, right? This is what A position. Now this is a position. Okay? This is the position. So now I'll draw one circle uh, for the diameter 20 mm. Yes. yes. Right? Sorry, 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 sorry. So is it wrong? You need to draw below here. Is that wrong? Now that circle is wrong you need to draw here so taking a as a center point you need to draw okay. that is a wrong okay you please uh, just observe now we'll draw one more circle that is the right one okay so with this green color circle is a correct one okay with a green color circle is a correct one this red is a wrong okay now this has to touch here now this has to touch to the cam base circle so let us check the actual touch of it right now once you drawn these uh, reference points you just go for dividing the circle that is what a base circle okay? so what is the angle of uh, rise angle of rise is 120 degree okay? so now i just go for marking 120 degree here One twenty degrees or okay. 
so next uh, it is of 30 degree okay so 120 30 is over next it is in uh, a return of 30 degree okay? it is a return of 60 degree not a 30 degree 60 degree Now you draw the lines here. Okay. Now you draw the line. So you can just draw very thin lines here. You can just draw very thin lines, or you can draw, draw some extended lines also. Now let us uh, mark here. This is what A. This point is B here. Okay. And this point is C. And this point is D. Okay. D. Now you divide the angles. That is what angle A will be has to be divided into six number of parts as you divide it here for uh, 120 degree. You have divided this into six parts. Let us divide angle. Okay. So let us divide angle A O B into six parts. Okay. Now similarly, angle C O D into six parts. Right? Okay. So 120 divided by six means uh, how many degrees you will get? 20 degrees. 20. 20. Let us divide this one 20. Okay. Now we'll just uh, draw some uh, construction lines here. Now let us put uh, these numbers on this uh, prime circle here. Earlier you have done the numbering on uh, base circle for knife edge circle uh, for knife edge follower, but for roller follower you need to mark on prime circle, not on base circle. Now let us. This is what a zero. Let us take this is a one. This is what a two. This is three, four, five and six okay next angle cod has to be divided into six number of parts angle cod has to be divided into six number of parts let us divide this one angle cod you are going to get a 10 degree each you are going to get a 10 degree each Now let us join those points to origin. Okay, now let us mark points. So this is what uh, zero dash here, one dash, two dash, sorry. 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash right now to get the cam profile okay to get the cam profile now measure the distances here okay now let us uh, measure this is OF 
sorry, one F, okay. Put a compass on this first point and mark here, okay. Next, go for 2Z. Let us mark here, okay. Next, 3H. Next, four I. Sir, you have to <coughs> draw a reference of base circle, right? Prime circle. Now, for ruler follower, you need to draw with respect to the prime circle, not a base circle, right? Hmm. Now, let us go for. Next point, there is what uh, OZ, sorry, phi Z. Let us take mark here. Okay. Next, 6K. This will come as it is. Okay. So, next to mark. Now, one thing here, okay. I'll uh, just give a hint uh, to reduce the uh, time for drawing. Okay. Now the distance one f and phi dash r are same. Okay. Listen carefully. Distance one f, phi r are same. Two z, four dash q is same. Three h, three dash p is same. Four i. Uh, 2 dash n is same. You can just draw simultaneously here, right? Like, like this. Okay. So, distance 1f, 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 Now we'll go for two dash uh, n here. Okay, two dash n. Next, three dash p. Three dash p. Next, four dash q. Next to five dash R. Okay. Now let us mark these points as again uh, even noted for displacement diagram. Okay. Now what is this point? It is a F. Okay. I'll mark here. This is what a F. Next is Z, G, next is H, next is I, next is J, this is what a K, L, M, N, O, P, sorry, P, Q, R, D. Right? Now you draw a smooth curve you draw a smooth curve passing through all these points okay all these points now as this is to be an prime curve okay this is to be an prime curve you just draw a thin line or you can go for some uh, dash lines also you can go for some uh, dash line also okay? So what I'll do, I'll go for just uh, a 
now now we will get an exact arc here okay so now we will get uh, a reduced uh, radius right now this is what prime curve okay now this is what prime curve here now from these center points that is what f g h i j k l m n p uh, q r from these center points you need to draw the roller again you need to draw the roller so it is of radius how much Ten mm. 20 mm pardon radius of 20 mm sorry uh, radius of 10 mm okay now you can just uh, draw now in this case uh, by using uh, a protector uh, uh, sorry protector it is a little difficult uh, then you go for using compass here because uh, you are not getting exact horizontal and vertical lines to identify the center point okay? so on that situation you need to go for compass here Drawing vertical diagrams is a little difficult. I'm just drawing very thin circles here. Hey, we need to draw complete circles here. I'm just drawing reference arcs. Okay, so uh, it is not possible for me to draw complete curves in a vertical position, right? Okay. Now, to get the cam profile, you need to draw a smooth curve where it has to touch all these circles okay now we'll draw here right this is what the uh, cam profile you need to draw very smooth curves here you need to draw very smooth curves in set square you have some french curves there so even set square use martyrla adralli french curves anta bartavu avun thagondu draw madbeku ne actually smooth curve andre exact age bartadu got the idea so now we just indicate now this is what uh, cam profile nivella pencil ile madbeka pen ile alla cam profile 
now similarly you draw for the offset uh, follower you draw for offset follower okay now next to draw the velocity diagram as well as acceleration diagram so you find out what is the acceleration and velocity okay you find out what is the acceleration and velocity so you use the formulas to find out the acceleration and velocity okay? so let, let us go for uh, first we'll calculate uh, the angular velocity okay? so angular velocity omega equal to what 2 pi n by 60 okay so find out how much you'll get speed is uh, 100 rpm 2 into pi into 100 divided by 60. Someone give the value. Ten point four seven. Ten point four seven. Okay. Ten point four seven radius per second. Okay. Radians per second. Okay next velocity okay so let us find out uh, velocity v naught equal to pi omega s divided by theta naught theta naught to be in terms of radians okay so pi into 10.47 now this has to be converted in terms of meter 50 into 10 to 4 of minus 3 divided by so 120 into pi divided by 180 so now this is converted in radian now you find out how much you're going to get the velocity at uh, rise So you quickly calculate. How much you got? Zero point seven eight. Zero point seven eight. Zero point seven eight. Correct calculate. Correct correct calculate. Matter answer. Bare thil book dalle. Uh, pi radians equal to 180 degree na just to calculate this portion so 120 into pi so 0. 0. 0.39 okay so 0. 0.39 is correct answer okay meter per second now you find out velocity at a return stroke. So, can I get a screen count, please? Can I tell you? Sorry. Okay, return stroke, uh, you go for theta r equal to 60 degree, okay? Theta r equal to 60 degree, okay? You note down formulas. A naught equal to pi square omega square s into d s divided by 2 theta naught square, okay? 2 theta naught square. Okay. Here it is visible here. So now theta not equal to sorry a not equal to pi square omega square s yes, divided by two theta not square. Okay. 
ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಫೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಒಮೆಗಾ ಇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಇಂಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಟು ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಂಟು ಫೈವ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಏಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏರ್ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಏಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಓಮೆಗಾ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟು ತೀಟಾ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ How much you got, you know? How Point seven nine seven. Point seven nine. Point So velocity you are giving or acceleration you are giving? Okay, so velocity for return stroke it is 0.79 meter per second. Right. Now find out accelerations. sir 6.16 sir okay 6.16 right answer okay meter square per meter per second square okay now for return stroke no, 24.7 sir okay 24.7 meter per second square okay now how to draw these velocity diagrams and uh, acceleration diagrams okay now let us uh, look here okay so as seen in the profiles that means uh, while drawing the uh, while analyzing the velocity and acceleration for different motions of a follower so now let us draw horizontal lines here two horizontal lines okay one for uh, velocity another one for accelerations okay now you are going to get a maximum when is a follower is at a mid position okay follower is at a mid position you are going to get a maximum velocity okay for both return stroke as well as for rise stroke as out stroke as well as return stroke okay? and whenever a velocity is maximum at that particular point so acceleration is zero here acceleration is a zero now i draw first velocity so now velocity initially at a zero and it goes on increasing it is going to give some sine wave curve here okay so this is what zero to sorry sorry so this has to come here okay right this is what maximum velocity at out stroke this is how much 0.39 meter per second right now this is what a position a this is what a position b okay now maximum velocity here for return stroke this is what position c this is what a d okay this is how much 0.79 meter per second 
now accelerations okay now accelerations so we we'll just project these lines here now to draw these uh, curves is difficult you need to just draw an approximate curve here with the taking suitable scale okay with the taking suitable scale example now 0.39 meter per second is there you can take a uh, uh, 0.1 meter per second equal to 1 mm sorry uh, 10 mm okay and suitable scale is just mark here okay and similarly mark here now for acceleration diagram it is how much it is 6.16 meter per second square is out stroke and for return stroke it is 24.7 okay now what i'll take i'll take uh, uh, 2 meter per second square equal to uh one mm okay one mm i'm taking a very small scale here now that means so 24.7 if you multiply you are going to get a 12.5 mm here okay so now you just mark 12.5 mm okay here okay and 12.5 mm here okay. now draw the curve Okay. Now draw the curve. Now here you will get a cosine curve here. Here you will get a cosine curve. Okay. This is what acceleration diagram. Okay. This is what acceleration diagram. So now for return stroke, now it is of foot. 24.67 you you take a suitable scale please mm -hmm. okay. now this will be return stroke now right here you just write this is what acceleration diagram now this is what velocity diagram okay this is what displacement diagram okay. now for practice purpose okay you just draw all these diagrams in the same line okay. that means displacement diagram below accel velocity diagram and velocity diagram below acceleration diagram okay so you have any doubts or you have any confusions now i'll close this cam chapter here Today we'll close this cham cham chapter. We'll start new chapter tomorrow. Do you have any doubts? Pardon? These two follow knife edge and ruler. Ah, knife edge is there, roller follower is there, one more uh, flat edge is there. Okay, so flat edge, uh, if time permits, uh, I'll draw and I'll show one problem on a uh, flat edge. Okay. Okay, we'll uh, see you tomorrow with a new chapter from unit uh, three. Okay. So now we can exit the class.